Hey everybody, welcome back to Taking Trades. So this is the long-awaited video that everybody's been asking for and I'm finally getting it out. I apologize for the delays, but this is the Interactive Brokers Trading Platform setup video where I'm gonna show you how I set everything up, how I set the presets, how I get the defaults, how I get everything going so that when you get up in the morning, if you wanna trade by just literally clicking one maybe two buttons you can get that all set up so it takes the stress out of your morning trading routine if you're trading a pretty simple trading setup so let's dive into this so this is my ibkr account ibkr pro and i just want to start things off by telling you that i pay 25 dollars a month for nasdaq quotes live nasdaq quotes and then i pay commissions and i pay um, i trade size of about 1400 shares when I'm scalping in the morning and I pay round trip total about $15 in commissions and that's it. So I'm really happy with the platform. It's lightning quick. It moves really fast. It hasn't allowed price action to jump over my stop loss like Thinkorswim did. Even in a very quick, you know, market opens, quick trigger, immediate stop out, it handles it all beautifully and it price improves me on occasion and that that's just wonderful. So I just want to start off the video by saying it's an amazing platform. I highly recommend it. I don't work for them. and I don't get any kickbacks. It's just my honest opinion. So to dive into things, this is my um, paper account. I didn't want to mess with my live account. So I logged into my paper account and I'm basically going to show you the setup from scratch just like I did for my other account. So let's first start off by talking about the actual platform, what you see in front of you. Now, my setup is incredibly simple, and it's so simple it's almost boring. I just need to be able to see the last few 15-minute candles, and I just need to be able to see sort of the summary and the order, sort of that live trade area once my trade is finished. So I just have two panels up, and I'm gonna show you the first steps, which would be you go up to this lock and click that, that puts a big green screen or a big green border around your account. That tells you that you are now in edit mode for the panels within the platform. Here's what I mean by that. If I click this X, we'll say don't show that again, it disappears. So right now, I just have this chart in here. If I wanted to, I could drag this thing and make one big chart or I could drag it all the way to the side and make it really tiny. But you can see I have this big workspace over here. So you're saying, how do I get that order entry window over there? Well, I come over to new window, I click that, and then basically what I go do is just go to orders, click orders, and it'll pop this little guy right here. You can move it around, you can do whatever you want with it. I choose to bring it up in the corner like this, and then I just drag it all the way down. Okay, and that's basically all I do with it. And then once it's set where you want it, you'll come into this plus button and you can pick some additional information. I like to have the trade summary as well. So I have orders, um, I have trades, and I have summary. So I have that all set up right here. So that's all good. Now you'll be able to toggle through these and see everything that, that's happened with your trades for that day. So I'm gonna put it back on orders. So it's all set. Now, then I come over to this chart. And how do I get this chart here? All I do is go to new window, go to chart, click that, and you can see it throws up another chart for me. I can put this chart wherever I want. Um, I could have two, three, four, ten charts. You can do whatever you want, but you would ultimately want to, like say I, I wanted to have two charts right here. I could then bring this in, and for a second, let me just move this over. I could take this chart and just squeeze it in here, drop it all the way down, and have two charts like this if I want. Or I could tuck this back up, and then what I could do with it is I could put another one down here, so I could have four charts. There's also an option for thumbnail charts, which are tiny little guys that just kind of give you um, basically just a reference of you know your watch list stocks, are they moving up or down, or um, just basically at a glance information but these are the regular live charts and so once you have your chart on here you can just drag these to exactly where you want them 
And for me, you know, right about like that is pretty good. I'm going to see if I can tighten this up a little bit in the top. It looks like that's as far as it goes. Okay, so that's my trading setup. It's just two panels. It's just the activity panel, and then it's just the chart panel. And once those are in place, and you don't want to mess with them anymore, you just come back up to your lock here, and you click it. And now it's locked. Now you'll see I can't drag. I can toggle between the two, but I can't grab and move anything. I can't shrink anything. I can't do anything. That's all set up. Now, once that's set up, the one thing I want to move into really quickly is to just explain a little bit of the functionality on these charts because it can take a little, little time to get used to. It's not intuitive all the time, but what I like to do is it gives you these little, these little, I guess you could say adjustment buttons, and there's one down here. People ask how I center my chart. And in terms of top to bottom centering, what I do is I click this little button and I'll toggle up a few times. And that'll just shrink your candles. And if you want them back up, you just click the other way. So that's sort of that Y axis or up and down uh, vertical scrolling or vertical tightening of the chart. The other one that took me a long time to figure out, and I'm a little embarrassed that it did, is people ask how I get this space right here. Because usually your candles come tucked right up against the edge. How do you put space there? If you come down here to the volume area, right below it, you'll see this little arrow right here. If you hover that, you'll see a little hand. Now with that hand, you can click and slide, and it moves it. So when, when you guys see your chart set up when you click and get a new, a new chart to come in, it's going to be set up like this. And for a lot of people, they're like, I just don't like that it's right against the edge of the, of the border there on the y-axis. So all you do is come down, grab that little arrow, wait till it turns to a hand icon, and then drag it to wherever you want and drop it. And then it'll just stay there. Then you can come over and you can tweak these all you want. So that's kind of the layout. And then if you want to get into more specifics about um, the candles, the candle colors, um, other things that you'd like to put up here on your toolbar, you can come into this file area and then edit and you can go into your chart parameters and you can mess with the parameters of this specific chart. This video, I'm not gonna get into how to change the colors. That's pretty self-explanatory within the edit chart parameters area. Um, you, can, you can get into all kinds of stuff in there. But it's, and then the view is gonna give you um, different areas to check out um, to have different features on the chart. So with that being said, that's the simple layout. Layout. That's all I have on my charts. And then the next thing I like to get into is to talk about how to set things up so that you can just click a button and have the trade work. So what I wanna show you first and foremost is the file button up here, the drop down. Click that. When you drop down, you wanna go to global configurations. You can do it here or you can do it here. Once you click global configurations, you need to think about global configurations as whatever you set up here is sort of the, the overarching umbrella. It's what's gonna override and basically take over your platform. It's gonna give all the data to trickle down to everything else. It'll feed everything else. So what I like to do is I like to come over and I go to presets. And if you click on presets, you can then walk over here to stocks because that's what I trade. I have it set up for stocks. You can do it for options or futures or whatever you want, but I select stocks right here. And then what you want to do is you want to come in here and I actually, it makes it a lot clearer if I close these up. It'd be nice if they came closed because it's very clear. So right here, this is your preset area for global configurations for the platform. Basically, anything you set in the presets in here is going to override everything. Presets will even override hotkeys. Now, I don't have a lot of hotkey stuff set up. I just have my presets, and then I have some a button set up. And I'm going to get into the button here in a bit. But right now, you're going to go in. You're going to say, okay, what size am I trading? Now, for me, this is just my setup. I have a set size every month that I increase. So this month, I'm trading a size of 1,400 shares. So I'll open this up, I'll toggle that open, 
And basically what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to type in 1400 shares. Now if you were doing something else, um, they have different like um, different uh, contracts and stuff. I'm just dealing with stock. So this is just 1400 shares and that's all you have to, to change. Now if you want to, they do have a default for size increment. Like if you wanted to be able to toggle up or down to kind of add or subtract shares um, on a different screen, you can do that. I think this came set up standard as 100 shares, but I just put 1400 in and that's the only thing you have to mess with. Then you're gonna click apply and that should be set. Then you'll close that up and then let's come down to primary order. Now primary order is gonna be your risk management opportunity. This is where you decide how do I want to enter the trade? Do I want to enter on a market order, a limit order, a stop limit order? You have all these different options. For me, I've selected the stop limit order. And the only reason I've selected that is because I like to get in when the stock breaks down below a certain level. So I don't want my order triggered early. I only want it triggered once a certain price gets hit. So I have stop limit set up. And then once this is set, once you pick from here, stop limit, the only thing that's active down here is stop limit price. These two you don't have to do anything with because they're not active unless you selected them from this dropdown. It'd be nice if IBKR maybe grayed these out. Like if you select stop limit, then it should gray out limit and stop. You know, like make it a little easier, more intuitive. But for stop limit price, this is saying, what, where do you want to get triggered? And I set the stop right here. I said wherever I put my stop. You can say bid, ask, the last price. You can sort of, of um, add different parameters to it, but I like to just say stop. It's wherever I place the order on the chart, and I'll show you that here in just a bit. So my stop is at wherever I put it, and then the limit on the stop limit is a plus 10 cents. So this means... I get triggered at say, let's say for simplicity, on a long trade, I get triggered at $85 and I'm willing to accept a price up to $85.10, that 10 cent gap. It's so that you don't get skipped when markets are moving really quickly. So I put in a 10 cent amount here and that's all you have to do in here. So that's set up, stop limit. Stop means where I'm gonna, where I'm gonna click on the chart, that's where I want the stop to be and then I wanna add 10 cents to it. So that's done. Click apply, close that one up. Now the target order, because I like to use a bracket, I like to have a stop and a target on every trade that I place. So for my target, I'm gonna open that up. We're gonna come in here and you're gonna see I wanna auto attach an order that is a limit, okay? Limit meaning I'm not accepting anything below it, I'm accepting anything at or above it. So the limit order will get triggered when it gets hit and the limit order is based off of the parent order. So limit price, I want it to be the parent order plus 75 cents. Now this could sound confusing, but what this means is, let's say you get triggered into a trade and you have, and you get triggered at $80 and you wanna take profit at 80.75. Well, if it's hard coded in like that, 75 cents from where you placed your stop, your stop limit order, what if you got some slippage? So instead of getting in at $80, let's say you got in at $80.05. Your stop limit, your stop, your, your limit target is still at 75. So now it's only 70 cents. So you can see how that's kind of a pain. So you want your target to be calculated off wherever you get filled. And the parent order is gonna be your fill price. So if you get filled at 80.05, then 75 cents above that would be 80.80. It'll auto adjust it for you. I had somebody ask me the other day in the comments on the YouTube channel, how, how do you get your target to self-correct itself when you get slippage? This is exactly how. In the presets, parent order plus whatever amount you want. And then I click apply offset to parent, okay? And that's all you have to do in here. Click apply, close it up. Attached stop order. So here's probably the most important part. You want to you want to select. I select an adjustable stop because um, actually you can select adjustable stop in here, um, 
yes, I, I just put adjustable stop. There's another video we can get into about moving stops, but we'll just keep this one simple. I put adjustable stop, and then the stop price is, again, the parent order, wherever I got filled, minus 30 cents. Apply offset to parent checked. So I want a 30 cent stop from wherever I get filled, not at where I place the stop order because I might get slippage. I want a true 30 cents from wherever I get filled, and this does exactly that. Once that's in place, you don't have to worry about anything else. This part down here, this is all different stuff. So there's your stop loss. Click apply, close that up, and you're all set. Say okay, and now all those presets are set, okay? So from here, you might be saying, Jimmy, well, there's no like order entry. How do, there's no, where do I click to enter shares or submit an order? And now we'll get to that. That falls under these buttons down here. Okay, so we're gonna go back up here. We're gonna click File. We're gonna do Global Configuration. And then in here, instead of going into the presets, we now wanna come over and we wanna to come to Charts. And we wanna to go to the, the Chart Trader and you're gonna have Buttons. Now, these buttons are attached to that chart that you had. Every time you put a chart on your screen, you're gonna have the option of opening up that buttons panel, okay? And I'll show you that here in just a second. But right here, you're gonna see um, a sell stop is going to sell at the chart trader price. Now, what you can do is you can, you can come in here and create a new button. So you could come in here and maybe instead of the alert, you can edit buttons too. But you can create new buttons with the background color, foreground color, and you can basically set up all you want. All I did was use this sell stop button here, and I clicked edit. So the sell stop button, you can now come in and you can, you can change the text if you want, however you wanna mess with it, you can create it and maybe sell like a, like a stop limit sell button you could type in here, whatever you wanna do, but it's a, it's a sell action, and inside of this configuration here, let me move this over just a little bit. You basically, I guess I'll cover myself up for a second here, but you can basically come in and look at all this stuff. What you have is size default. Default is what you set up in your presets. So that's the beautiful thing. It's a default. Order type. Default, again, you set that up already. Stop limit, it's already set. Stop loss, take profit, it's all set up. Stop price, default. Stop limit price, default. Everything is default and already set up. So you literally don't have to worry about any of this stuff because it's already set up. So from here, you can just cancel out. I just wanted to show you where you can make changes. If you wanna create a new button, you can do that. If you want to move the order of the buttons, you can do that. If you want to change the function of a button, you can do that as well here. So those are in the buttons. So now what we'll do is we'll close all that up and we'll cancel. So now to open up these buttons down here, you can see I can toggle these open and closed. But if you come up here to File and Edit and you go to Chart Parameters, you can open this thing up and basically what you want to do is you want to come down to additional data and features, this little toggle right there. And what you want to look for is this buttons panel button right here. Okay, if you turn that on and then you say okay, and this is being funny here, so if you say you want to turn that button panel on. Then you're going to click apply and you're going to say okay. And that's going to have your buttons all right here. Now, if you turn that off, let me show you how that works. Let's go to chart parameters. Let's go on here and let's say buttons panel off. And I click, sorry about that, and I click apply. Then if I say okay, you can see my buttons are gone, right? Now I can't use them. So we want the buttons to be there, the hot buttons. So I'm gonna click button panel on, 
and then we'll click apply and okay and now they are there so what I do in the mornings is I watch my chart and I'm waiting for the market to open and when I'm ready to place my short order now again I only trade short so you would want to have a buy button as well which you have one here you can get that all set up as well but I would click sell stop I click once and once I click that button now you see this red line that's here that red line corresponds to where I'm going to place my order, my short, my, my stop limit order to get short. So let's say I want to get short at $81. I put that red line right on 81 and I click. Now you notice what just happened. It put my bracket on the screen for me so that I can see it. I can say, okay, that looks really nice. I see I've got a 30 cent stop. I have a 75 cent take profit. I think I'm ready to go. And the last thing to do, you're going to click the T. That means transmit. Click transmit. It'll give you this confirmation box. It'll say, okay, 1,400 shares. It'll tell you where your sell, your stop limit order is. It'll tell you where your profit taker is and where your stop loss is. When you're ready, you just click transmit. And now that order is live. And that's all there is to it. So in the morning when I put this on, just like this, I now put it on, market opens, and I just wait. And I wait to see if I'm gonna get triggered. And then if for some reason you decide, I don't like this, I messed it up, I want out, you can either click this button, cancel, or you can click cancel all, okay? So I'm gonna click cancel all. Order cancel. And it's all gone, okay? And it'll show it to you here for a moment, but you can check tra trades in summary, and you'll see that no orders were active. And then if you say, okay, now I want to get in, I can click my button, click here, click transmit, confirm it, ready to go. Now you just wait. And that's all there is to it. Now I'll cancel it up here. You can cancel right here. Order cancel. All right, so you're out. And that's all there is to it to my platform. It's two panels with the preset set up and the buttons activated. I only use the sell button and I place the stop and the take profit at the same time, and then I just let things play out. So I hope this video was helpful. I know this has been a long time coming. If you got value out of this, hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We'd love to have you stick around. And if you haven't seen our private Facebook group that is free, there is a link in the banner of the YouTube channel as well as the description. Come over and check us out. And a uh, bunch, I think we're almost 300 people now, trading, sharing ideas. Fantastic group of people. Come join us. Hope this video was helpful. Drop me a comment below, and we'll see you next time. <music>